Hello, and welcome to our premiere release of SimCenter System Simulation Portfolio. Today, we will show you some of the new capabilities we have introduced in the 2022.1 release. But before we get into some of these new developments, let me talk about the major challenges that industry is facing today. With the rising concern about climate change and with a renewed focus on sustainability, new technologies are requested to make systems greener and to consume less energy. In this context, electrification and green energy are becoming extremely important topics. Products are becoming more and more complex, bringing together many different physical aspects like fluid flow, mechanical, electrical, controls, and so on. Consequently, companies need to move away from optimizing single components or single products. Instead, they need to look at the behavior of complex interconnected systems of systems. And to remain competitive, companies must design, optimize, and bring their product to market quicker than ever. This requires a system-driven product development approach. The SimCenter system simulation solutions provide what is needed for companies to adopt a system-driven product development approach, to innovate quickly, and to be successful in the market. SimCenter system simulation solutions are built on the foundation of two core products. SimCenter MC to study and optimize the performance of mechatronic systems from the early design stage, and SimCenter Flowmaster to model and analyze the thermal fluid dynamics in piping systems of any scale and complexity. Next to these two authoring tools, we have two solutions for consumers of system simulation models. Here, we identify two different profiles. SimCenter Web App Server addresses the needs of non-expert users, such as field sales or technicians, by enabling access to essential simulation capabilities from a web browser, a smartphone, or a tablet. SimCenter System Analyst helps project engineers with high process performance requirements to evaluate and optimize multi-attribute product performances for numerous configuration, variants, and mission scenarios. The SimCenter system simulation solutions are part of the SimCenter and Accelerator portfolio from Siemens. Connectivity to product lifecycle management, to CAD, to 3D CAE simulation tools, to design space exploration, and to hardware like ECUs and PLCs, allows company to realize comprehensive digital twins capable of modeling complex products like cars, airplanes, or chemical plants, just to cite a few. These comprehensive digital twins can be used and reused in every phase of the life cycle of the system, allowing companies to achieve unparalleled efficiency, speed and accuracy, and ultimately to innovate fast. To provide state-of-the-art solutions to our customers, our development is based on four pillars. The first pillar, model the complexity. We develop capabilities to model all the relevant physics, such as fluid flow, mechanical, electrical, controls, and so on. This allows engineers to deeply understand complex system behavior and to make decisions with confidence. The second pillar, explore the possibilities. Our solutions allow engineers to quickly assess the performance of different design options and to predict the behavior of system under different conditions. The third pillar, go faster. Our tools are designed to help customers to perform their daily job fast and efficiently through efficient workflows and fast solvers. The fourth pillar, stay integrated. As I mentioned earlier, we live in a connected world and this must be reflected in our simulation tools. The connectivity to PLM CAD, CAE, and hardware allows companies to efficiently connect all activities and achieve operational excellence. Now, I will let David Gain illustrate some of the new enhancements in this release using some industry-specific examples. Hello. As Clermont said before, electrification is an important topic in the context of sustainability, and we are significantly investing in this area to provide our customers with capability that allows them to design efficient electrified vehicles and go to market quickly with the confidence that the product will perform as designed. 
For solutions, help customers to design and model batteries, fuel cell, inverter, and electrical models, and to integrate all of those components to assess vehicle performances, vehicle dynamics, and drivability. Today, I would like to focus on the enhancement in the area of fuel cells. In this release of SimCenter AIMSIM, we have updated the proton exchange membrane fuel cell component model and vehicle integration to widen the design expression capabilities and to facilitate the setup of the model architecture. This is particularly helpful to fuel cell system engineers who need to design, validate, and optimize the fuel cell stack balance of plants. Indeed, the updated model helps to quickly evaluate alternative components and control strategies by ensuring the right balance between performance, vehicle range, and thermal management. Let's have a better look at an example. In this model of the stack and balance of plant integration at vehicle level, we can see the model of the proton exchange membrane fuel cell, which provides the main power to the vehicle. In the latest release, this component has been enhanced to consider dynamic water transport through the membrane and nitrogen transport from the cathode to the anode. Gas diffusion at both cathode and anode sites is also modeled to account for concentration losses. On the cathode side, the air pressure is built through the air compressor and a humidifier maintains the correct humidity at the membrane. On the anode side, hydrogen is supplied from the high pressure tank. Recirculation of the hydrogen is ensured by the injector. Liquid water is removed from the circuit with a water separator and a purge valve, whose operation is based on the nitrogen concentration. The thermal management of the system is studied by connecting the stack and the cooling circuit that contain a radiator, a fan, a thermostat, and a centrifugal. To evaluate the performance of the stack and the balance of plant integration, we need to run the model based on the driving cycle. This driving cycle imposes a power demand on the fuel cell stack. Once the simulation is run, users can easily evaluate the performance of the vehicle. They can evaluate the range of the vehicle together with the motor torque and velocity. Detailed results of the stack behavior are easily accessible, allowing engineers to evaluate all the key metrics that affect performance and fuel cell life. This includes operation voltage and temperature, as well as water content of the membrane to maintain performance and avoid premature deterioration of the membrane. The power and the energy through the system is clearly visualized, so the main contributor of the compressor is clearly highlighted. <clears throat> the global efficiency of the stack is also clearly visualized, allowing engineers to access their design early in the life cycle and to evaluate different alternatives. Green energy is another important topic in the context of sustainability. Green energy applications require the development of new technologies faster than ever and involve the use of specific fluids like hydrogen, carbon dioxide or ammonia. To enable our customer to innovate in this space, we are significantly investing in solution to simulate and optimize system for maximum energy efficiency across the range of operating conditions. To this purpose, we have enhanced the two-phase modeling capability of SimCenter Flowmaster. We have developed a new two-phase pipe that uses the drift fluid models to calculate the relative velocities of the liquid and vapor fraction accounting for slip ratio between the two phases and for the relative volume of vapor and liquid. Thanks to the conjugate heat transfer capability, it is possible to model the energy transfer between the fluid inside the pipe and the different external surfaces. Engineers can use this model for any piping configuration. A good example is the use of this pipe to model a shell and a tube heat exchange. In this example, we are using the new two-phase pipe together with a 1D heat transfer component to model each part of the heat exchanger. The new two-phase pipe is used to model the flow in the shell side. 
Here, we model the phase change and the relative velocities of the different phases thanks to the drift flux model. Using the 1D heat transfer component, we can now model the flow through the tube bundle, the heat flow between the tube bundle and the solid walls of the tube bundles, the heat flow between the solid wall of the tube bundle and the fluid in the shell side, the heat flow between the fluid in the shell side and the external solid wall of the exchanger, and finally, the heat flow between the solid wall and the external environment. Another important component for system engineers involved in the green energy sector is the multi-pass plate-thin heat exchanger for liquid, gas, and two-phase fluids. In SimCenter from Master, we have introduced a modular design approach that allows engineers to easily create heat exchangers with multiple passes. This means that they can evaluate the behavior of different configurations and optimize the design in early stages. As in a previous example, each part of the heat exchanger is modeled using the dedicated component that models a single pass of the heat exchanger together with the 1D heat transfer components. In this example, we have three passes. Each one is characterized by defining its material and the geometry of the plate and the fins. Conjugate heat transfer between the different passes and with the external environment is modeled using the 1D heat transfer components. Beside this modular approach, we also offer pre-built components to provide examples of how multipass heat exchanger can be built. In this way, engineers can quickly build a library of custom multipass plate fin heat exchanger to be reused during their daily work. One of the key activities for a system engineer in aerospace is assessing flying conditions to ensure safety. In this latest release of SimCenter AIMSIM, we have extended the capability to study flight dynamics with a new lookup table approach based on the six degree of freedom aerodynamics model. This approach allows system engineers to assess any flight conditions, including those over and beyond the flight, the overall flight angle. With this approach, engineers can also reuse advanced external aerodynamic results obtained from 3D CFD simulation, for example, from Steam Center Star System. In this way, engineers can accurately assess flight performance in any propulsion system, either hybrid or conventional, and for any maneuvers like landing and take. Let's look at the landing maneuver as an example. Thanks to this capability and to the advanced post-processing tools, we can easily see that extending the flaps and the slats will be way more effective than just reducing the throttle. At the same time, we can also evaluate and visualize the impact of such maneuver on lift and altitude. Another new feature allows system engineers to model flight perturbances on vehicle dynamics from turbulence or wind gusts. This capability helps engineers to validate guidance, navigation, and control algorithms early in the program cycle. In this example, we highlighted the impact of a continuous performance on the aircraft stability and on the vertical load factor applied to the structure. One of the key activities of marine engineers is to optimize the ship design for fuel consumption economy. And this needs to be done on complex and realistic mission profiles. To help engineers with this task, we have implemented in SIMS and AIMSIM a database of sea routes with three levels of representative weather conditions. This comes with the capability to perform multi-stop and restart along the sea route. With these capabilities, engineers can take into account weather conditions that depend on the vessel position along the route. The resistance from the wave, wind, and current is computed based on the weather condition and impacts the vessel velocity and the total fuel consumption. With this detailed and accurate information, marine engineers can explore different and innovative possibilities in terms of control strategy and fleet management. The introduction of the new water jets, submodel, and Savinsky 
a resistance model allows users to assess the performance of fast vessels, to optimize the design of their powertrain, and to optimize fuel consumption on different mission profiles. Beside the physical capabilities that allow to model the complexity of a system, it is important to look at the deployment of the solution. In this context, an important aspect is the possibility of enabling more and more users to take advantage of simulation at different stages of the project. SimCenter Web App Server and SimCenter System Analyst are the tools in the SimCenter System Simulation Solution that allow analysts and non-expert users to take advantage of simulation and in this way, they are allowed to deploy simulation to a wider audience. SimCenter Web App Server offer multiple parameter visualization like switch, button, and slider to help the consumer of model to easily change the model parameter in a simple, visual, and efficient way so that any risk of simulation mistake is avoided. The model parameter can be arranged on the web form in the most convenient way to help model consumer to access and modify them. Different ways of interaction can be used, for example, incremental value, buttons or slider, always with the aim of making the user experience of the model consumer easier and more intuitive. In this way, model consumer can easily interact with the web form and change the model parameter in a safe way, because they will always stay in the defined ranges. The final stage is to configure the plots on the web form so that the user can easily and immediately see the results of their simulation in a graphical and intuitive way. As said at the beginning of this presentation, we live in an interconnected world and our approach to simulation and analysis needs to be a confluence. SimCenter Flowmaster offers the ability to connect with multiple Internet of Things devices. This is absolutely necessary when monitoring real systems for weeks, months, or even years at a time. By using an executable digital twin that is coupled to the plant or facility, it is possible to review the historic trends of a system and quickly detect component failure before they occur. It is also possible to provide system operator with augmented information for operation optimization. Thanks to the MQTT connector, SimCenter Flowmaster can write results to the cloud. MQTT is a startup for industry Internet of Things. So this is not limited to Siemens tools, but any cloud-based tools that support MQTT standard. Siemens provides the MindSphere solution and an Internet of Things operating system. In there, the asset manager can be used to create a connection to a digital representation of the system. The complete digital representation of the system is coupled to MindSphere and exchange information via the MQTT protocol. The OPC UA connectors that has been developed and implemented previously as part of the executable digital twin solution can be connected to the PLC directly. The MQTT component can connect to the cloud, thus creating a full connection between the real system and the digital system, making the information widely available through the cloud. MindSphere is also used to create a dashboard with a dashboard viewer app. In this example, gauges are used to monitor flow rate and pressure results coming from the simulation outputs. In the Asset Manager, users and operator can see the results uh, written in real time and can review historical trends. This solution can be deployed on large-scale systems, like, for instance, water distribution systems, to analyze demand and distribution throughout the system and ensure efficient use of resources and reduction in pumping costs. This type of IoT-connected executable digital twin can be applied across many different industries to provide additional insight into the system operation and provide both high-level and deep-dive analysis of system performance using historical data along with real-time live analysis. This information are essential to help operators with predictive maintenance and operational optimization. Thank you very much, David. So, like I said, the raising concerns about climate change and the renewed focus on sustainability 
push companies to innovate fast and to design, operate and optimize systems that are more and more complex and interconnected. Today, we have presented some of the, some of the new capabilities to help companies to adopt a system-driven product development approach, to model the complexity, go faster, explore the possibilities and stay integrated. But these were only just the highlights. There's even more within Team Center System Simulation 2022-1. To learn more about the rest of the new capabilities being released, head over to the Team Center blog. I also invite you to visit the Team Center community, which is a forum where you can discuss topics on using our Team Center products with other customers or users of those products. It's a great source of information, and I highly suggest you check it out. The Support Center is also another great source of information for customers, on which you may have recently seen SimCenter TV, which has been great at highlighting tips and tricks and showing how you can use SimCenter tools for a wide range of applications. So with that, I thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you at the next one.